What's up, guys? Welcome to yet again another trade breakdown video. We're going to be talking about the Kyle Ocposo deal. So, Kyle Ocposo finds himself being a member of the Florida Panthers. In exchange, they give the Buffalo Sabres um, a young player, uh, Kale uh, Salin, and 2024 seven round pick. Uh, which has a condition attached to it, which upgrades to a 2024 fifth round pick if the Florida Panthers win the Stanley Cup. So Kalik Poso spent a lot of time with the Buffalo Sabres and before that with the New York Islanders. So this is just his third team uh, throughout his career. He's currently 35 years old, drafted in the first round, seventh overall in 2006 by the New York Islanders. Um you know they're adding they're adding a fourth liner, uh, veteran with experience. Uh, not much uh, playoff experience, unfortunately. He's always been on uh, teams that did not make the playoffs very often. So him going to the Florida Panthers is going to give him a chance to have a season playoff action essentially and give him a legit shot at winning his first Stanley Cup. He has 22 points in 61 games with the Buffalo Sabres this year, 12 goals and 10 assists. Last year he had 28 points, the year before that 45 and he hasn't had, you know, the best offensive season since 2021-2022 and before that, you know, his numbers, you know, declined a lot. So um, you know, obviously he's not the player he once was, but still being a 20 to 30 point player still makes him very useful. And he's going to be playing on the fourth line as it's shown here. He was playing four line minutes with the Buffalo Sabres and he was given a uh, second power play unit time with the Florida Panthers. He's going to be playing alongside Nick Cousins and Ryan Lomberg. Uh, Nick Cousins should be placed into the center role on the fourth line since he's able to play um center so uh stenland would be out of the lineup and that would be your fourth line in terms of receiving power play minutes i highly doubt it after acquiring vladimir tarasenko a couple of, uh, a couple of days ago and with already having a stacked offensive team i don't really see him having some power play unit time unless there's injuries um, maybe he'll receive some penalty kill unit time, but we'll see with, with that once he slots into the lineup and they start making some decisions. Um, in terms of the Florida Panthers uh, salary cap, um, they, they are definitely going to be adding, um, you know, an, a player who is being paid $2.5 million for the remaining of this season. So he's going to be a UFA at the end of this year. They have a lot of UFAs, um, you know, the sign and their main target should be sign Ryan Hart, who's having a fantastic season um, over uh, 40 goals this year. So that should be their prime target, but they're going all in just like teams like, like the Vegas Golden Knights, Winnipeg Jets, um, Carolina Hurricanes, all those teams are posing a threat. Also, the Colorado Avalanche are another team. And in terms of uh, Cali uh, Sadlin, his stats are uh, three points in 22 games. Uh, he's a left-handed defenseman drafted in the fifth round, 145th overall in 2017 by the New York Rangers. So he spent the last two years in the AHL playing for the Charlotte Checkers. And before that, he was playing in Sweden. Um Obviously not an A-level prospect, but, you know, I would say a C-level prospect at best. And in terms of his contract, he's being paid 855000 to till the end of this year where he'll be an RFA. So they'll have, you know, control of his rights if they choose to sign him. If not, if they don't qualify him, he'll hit the market as a ufa and just one last thing here colic Poso's uh, player card he's a veteran defensive bottom six winger and as we scroll down here um it stated that you know he should be a very good two-way fourth line winger for florida um so yeah there you have it you know uh Kyle Poso is now a florida panther uh, you know has not made the playoffs many times throughout his career but you know he's being given a legit shot here and i think uh, a lot of credit goes to um 
both the general manager of the Buffalo Sabres and Florida Panthers to, you know, give Agposo a shot here. You know, he's always been a loyal player for both the Islanders and the Buffalo Sabres. He was captain of the Buffalo Sabres for the last couple of seasons. And obviously, they're a very young uh, team that's, you know, uh, transitioning to even get younger. So Agposo does not fit their long-term plans. So giving up Agposo a chance in the twilight years of his career is definitely a nice gesture. But we'd like to hear your thoughts, guys, on this trade. Uh, what do you think of Agposo being a Florida Panther? What do you think of the return of Buffalo Sabre fans? And make sure to write you know, your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video. Sub sub subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next episode of the Young Nuts Podcast. Thank you so much, guys, for watching.